Today, we're gonna look at the differences between veneers and crowns. So what are dental veneers? How are they different than crowns? And how do we bond these porcelain veneers to your teeth? The purpose of today's video is to answer any questions you guys might have about the veneer or crown procedure. A veneer is a thin layer of porcelain that is permanently bonded to your teeth and can change the size, shape, or color of your smile. They can repair crooked, stained, and broken teeth. And as you can see here, a couple veneers can go a long way in fixing your teeth, while a full set of veneers can be life changing. So towards the end of the video, I'm gonna be showing you some of the steps I take to permanently bond veneers to your teeth. And I hope you stay tuned for that. But for now, I wanna focus on the difference between a dental crown and a porcelain veneer. A dental crown is essentially a cap that covers the entire tooth. And it has a lot of the same benefits as a veneer in that it can fix broken, discolored teeth, and overall enhance your smile. But typically it's used for those of you out there that have severely broken down teeth that need to be prevented from cracking more. Or if those of you out there have large fillings or a lot of decay around a tooth, a crown is usually preferable to protect the tooth in the long run. Now crowns can be made out of a variety of different materials. Gold crowns are long lasting and malleable. Zirconia crowns are some of the strongest ones on the market. And Emacs crowns are considered to be the most beautiful material out there. Depending on whether we're working on the back tooth or the front tooth will play a huge factor on what type of crown your dentist will recommend. Thank you so much to Dr. John Sirbu for providing these awesome photos of dental crowns so that this YouTube community can get an idea of what materials are out there on the market. I'm gonna link his Instagram down below. It's an awesome channel for those of you out there that are interested in dental content. It applies to dentists as well as patients, so be sure to check it out. So a lot of my patients ask me which one is better, a veneer or a crown? And this depends on a number of factors. So let's go through them all. Number one, is your tooth broken and to what degree? If your tooth is only slightly chipped, I would recommend repairing it with a porcelain veneer or a composite filling. These composite bondings can do a wonderful job in repairing small chips in your teeth, but they do stain over time, especially with the most common stainers like tea, coffee, red wine, blueberries, blackberries, things of that nature. You can also do a composite veneer, which covers the entire front surface of the tooth with composite resin, but the porcelain veneers do stain a bit less, and I find that they're a bit more permanent than the composite veneer. Now, I do composite veneers all the time in my practice, but I typically reserve that procedure for younger patients or for those that want a more financially conservative option. Now, if you broke your tooth in a big way, I would recommend getting a crown. Dental crowns cover the entire tooth and it can withstand a lot of wear and tear. It is long lasting, but typically recommended for teeth that are severely broken down or those that have large cavities. Number two, does your tooth have any previous fillings or cavities? In order to have a strong, long lasting, permanent veneer, dentists need to bond to healthy enamel. This is critical. So if you had any previous fillings or decay that negatively affects this enamel, your dentist may recommend having a crown done. This is typically because bond strength is higher on enamel than dentin. So a veneer requires that healthy enamel to be long lasting. And other major factors that can negatively affect your enamel include 
acid reflux, oral habits like sucking on lemons, and even just plain genetics. Okay, we just have three more factors left. Stay with me, we're almost there, and then I'm gonna give you that live video showing that dental bonding procedure. Okay, number three, do you grind your teeth or have any bite issues? Veneers are very, very thin and can break if you're banging on them throughout the night. So if you already have a lot of broken teeth due to a grinding habit, your dentist may recommend choosing a crown over a veneer. The best thing to do is have your dentist analyze your grinding habit before choosing whether to do a veneer or a crown. And if you do choose veneers, I would recommend wearing a night guard to protect your veneers from popping off in the future. Number four, are you trying to straighten your teeth? Another huge question I get from my patients is whether veneers can straighten your teeth and whether you can choose veneers over braces. The short, simple answer is yes. But braces are ideal when aligning teeth and they are the most conservative option. For the most optimum results, we like to do a combination of both. We use braces to align the teeth the best we can and then we use veneers to change the color, the contour, or make the smile exactly the way our patients want. If you align the teeth first, it makes it so that we don't have to remove excess tooth structure when starting our veneer preparation. A huge, huge shout out to my friend, Dr. Greg Asatrian, who has a channel titled Braces Explained, where he talks about everything braces. I encourage everyone to check out his channel. He has amazing content, and if you're in the braces process, you're gonna learn a lot. So check him out down below. And finally, number five, are you only looking to whiten your teeth? I always, always, always recommend professional dental whitening as a first step to brighten your smile. But if you have a history of tetracycline staining or your teeth are extremely dark, there's only so much that dental whitening can do. Veneers can make your teeth whiter, but it has its limitations as well. So if your teeth are extremely dark, then you may need a dental crown to mask that discoloration. But typically we can resolve whitening issues with bleaching products or with uh, dental veneers. There are a variety of different bleaching products out there, but basically you want something with carbamide peroxide or hydrogen peroxide to uh, enhance the color of your teeth. So those are the five things to consider when choosing a veneer over a crown. As promised, I wanna show a live presentation of my bonding protocol. In this particular case, we had a patient who broke his two front Teeth. One tooth was a little bit more broken than the other and we chose to do a dental crown and dental veneer combination. It was the best and most conservative option um, to fix his front teeth. I hope you enjoy the video. Now we still have so much more to talk about in terms of different veneer designs and preparation guidelines. I'm not sure whether that's too technical for this channel, so let me know down in the comment section below if that's something that you want me to go over. I can definitely make a longer form technical video going over my bonding procedure step by step, or I might just include a link to my website 
that will have a PDF that you guys can download where it tells you step by step how I bond my veneers to my patient's teeth in uh, the best way possible. As always, I appreciate the time you took to watch this video and um, the support that you guys have been giving me. We recently reached 2,000 subscribers. I think that's an awesome milestone for this channel and I want it to continue to grow. So if you have any ideas of videos that you want to see or um, you want to guide my channel a certain way, I'm always open to suggestions. Thank you so much for watching the channel and I'll definitely see you for the next one. Thank you.